Hello everybody, this is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I am getting ready to start my day. I got me a fresh cup of coffee. I was looking at my eyebrows, y'all. And I think I need to go and do something with them this morning. Mm -hmm. I don't have nothing special on my mind this morning. Big Red over this came over this morning, and then he's gonna help me do a little something in the Grand Villa. You know, need an extra hand while Willie at work. And where's my mirror? That man had been up in here and moved stuff around. Here it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, y'all y'all can get one of these little things, these little handy dandy tools that I got in my hand. And y'all can get it from the hair store. And if you just want to shape up that little bit, you see how, I don't know if you really noticed how much I took off right then. But I just really just clean mine up, y'all. See that? Mm-hmm. It's the same over here. I just clean that little area up right there. And that's all I do. Ain't nothing to it. You take that little little blade and just go and clean that up. You see, that's why you don't let folks in your space. See them been up in here moving stuff. Okay. I told him he gonna have to get his own space when he come here and stop coming in my room. But it's just like it was when we was little. Mm-hmm. Stay out of my room. Yeah. Just clean it up a little bit. Yeah. Shoot, my, my eyebrows are very extended. Look how far I go down. That's my natural brow line. And it comes all the way down to try almost meet that. On both sides, see? That's all. I had to kind of clean it up to get the fuzz off it. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do with that, y'all. Okay, I'm going to put on some red today, y'all. Did y'all see how I did that? I'm going to put on some red today. <laughs> I haven't had no red in so long. Now I'm up here. I'm going to put on some red today. <laughs> oh goodness what is this this is it's one of my Mac I got some so I don't know which one is okay this is a red this is a red this is a red this is a ruby 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 I'm I'm uh taking the polish off my nails, y'all. I'm in me it take off. <laughs> me it take off. <laughs> and you say, Val, why you put your lipstick on and you ain't did nothing else to yourself? Cause when I put my lipstick on, when it come to makeup. I feel like that's half the battle, honey. I'm almost there. Mm -hmm. And this without any eyelashes and any eyeliner. Uh -huh. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I'm tired already. Y'all ever been like that? Ain't did nothing and you're tired already? Wake up tired. Okay. Hmm. Like I say, I don't know what to talk about this morning. You know, if you put a white pencil on your waterline, it makes your eyes appear bigger. Not underneath where I'm putting it, but you open it up, put it on that waterline. 
that's just a comment for those those that may not know and we just take for granted that everybody knows stuff mm -hmm. have any white I used to do that quite a bit when I had my I didn't have a diva space I had I was doing my uh, videos when I first started doing videos I was doing them in my bedroom and um you can see my bed in the background it was leopard print or I would sit on my bed and do my videos that was when I first started out now I, I have this mm. And I don't know if this gonna come off like it's supposed to, but we'll try it. Then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Cause uh these people sell these things, but they don't do like they're supposed to for some reason. Which this is not doing it. I had put the black on first, so I'm trying to clean clean it. Any if any got on there. And I'm going to leave that like that, y'all. And go ahead and put some eyeliner on top. I really need to be doing my hair. Because I got some nice little band two knots up under, under my hair. And I put a little bit more Hawaiian silky on it. So it'll curl a little better. I didn't put, I didn't saturate it, y'all, but I put more on it than I normally do it because the hair was getting dry. You know, I put a white and silky on my hair to keep it moisturized when my hair acts to acting like it want to dry out. And it bounced it right back. That's just what I do. Okay. I may think of something to say, and I appreciate y'all hanging in, hanging in there with me until your girls start talking about something. I was sharing a big a glass of wine with Big Red. He said he don't really care too much for it. Y'all may catch him on um. Catch him on there this morning. Put my eyelash on. Okay. I don't normally do that quite often, but sometimes when I have a little company, you know how when you have a person that come over that, that do some drinking and you probably ain't had a drink in almost a month or two weeks or three or four weeks or a week? Either one of those. And then when you somebody that come over and drink, just to socialize with them, sometimes you'll pull yourself out. And that'll be more, you have been drunk more than you have been drunk in a long time. Hmm. That happened to me sometimes. Then I wonder, am I a follower or a leader? Hmm. Your girl is a leader, but you know. Trying to be social. Like I 
like I say, anything you do in excess of is not good. I mean, all things in moderation, y'all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, honey, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Don't y'all see the difference of it all? And your girl got a head rag on, a sleeping rag. And don't she look all right? Mm -hmm. Like one of them old movie stars back up in there. <laughs> you know when I make that sound, I used to do that with my kids, and I found myself when I, whenever I hold a baby, like when my grandkids or something, I start, I do, I make that noise. I go. I don't even know why I do that. I make that noise, and when I make that noise, they look at me. They be like, <laughs> I don't even know why I make that noise. But you know what? I heard that mothers have a sound or a high-pitched tone in their voice that babies listen to. And I think it's a mother thing. That's my mother thing. Um, Because you know how moms say, that's my baby. That, that kind of... Eating. Babies... babies um, answer to that they feel that they um and don't know about guys don't do that they don't high pitch their voice and talk to a little baby like that women do that and kids respond to that little kids and i don't know maybe i should have been a, a person that study the behavior of others you know because i really notice people on how they react to certain things even babies you know how people tell you uh, if you start dating a guy and your kids don't like him, y'all, you don't need to date him. Now, my oldest, my oldest son at the time, which was was Valdis at the time, he told me he really didn't like the guy that I was dating at the time. It was something about him that he didn't like. He said he thought that sugar was gonna um wear off. All that sweetness and, and, and good as gold. And he used to play with them and, and be friendly with them. Pick them up, wrap them, play ball with them and stuff. He said he knew that was going to wear off sooner or later. I had no idea. But see, he didn't tell me. And then you know how. He was a little older then. You know, we talked. At least I thought we did. At that time. And he had told me after me and him broke up. That he knew it was not going to last. Because he knew that the guy was fake to him. He he didn't think all of that love and concern and compassion was real. Yeah. So ladies, sometimes I know it's hard. But I I say this. Watch how your children act around certain people. Watch how your children act around guys that you bring into their life. Even though you have waited before you introduce them to your children. And then you think your children may just say, well, they just don't want me to see me with nobody else but their daddy. That ain't always true. You know? So sometimes we have to pay attention to our children. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. Like I say, the stuff I tell you is sometimes the mistakes I made and I've learned from them. You know? I, I'm not a perfect person. I'm not a perfect being. I made plenty of mistakes. Raising my kids and all. You know. Because um, my youngest son told me one time that he was in, uh, that, you know, the kindergarten. Um, uh, kindergarten. And my, my youngest son, Vincent, he went to kindergarten twice because he was too young to start the first grade. And so he knew all his ABCs, how to count, how to read. In, in elementary school, I taught him that. I taught them before they went to school to prepare them for school. And then when he went to school, he was good child, good child, genius sort, genius level, played chess and everything. But when he went to school, and he told me as he as he got grown, he said, "Mama, you remember when I was in elementary school?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "The teacher, I got in trouble 
by you and daddy and with the teacher. He said the teacher took him, the old teacher, took him, pinched him, and twisted him and, and you know twisted his arm and I think uh, he had acted up in some way and he said he got a whooping from us and a whooping from his daddy whooping from me and um and he tried to tell them that the teacher was doing that and and at that time people said mind your teacher uh the teacher that's her classroom that's that da, 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 da. you know how we how we well y'all don't know about y'all young folks uh uphold their children everything they do but back in when I was coming up we didn't uphold children in their mess and Vincent said that the teacher was mistreating him and now he's a grown man. He's 27 years old. And he's telling me that the teacher mistreated him. Like for us pinching him and twisting her arm, her fingers when she when she pinched him. We have never did our child like that. You get what I'm saying? And then you have somebody that you trusting with your child all day. And they with them for uh, like a job every day for a year, two years, three years. That same person, a significant person in their life. So sometimes we have to pay attention to our children. And I think Val just told me something that happened at school. It ain't nothing like sexual or nothing like that. You know, something that you want to call the police and, and kill somebody over. But um, he told me something that happened in school. And he ended up getting a whooping three times that day. <laughs> we believe in that. I'm not staying that rock. My boys are rough. But you know what? Y'all have seen my children. They didn't kill them. And they some good kids. And, and they... They're not in jail. They cost of you know what get me about this uh corporate punishment and, and y'all can't do this and y'all can't do that to your child. Watch them on the news. And then they tell you your child ain't got no home trainer. If you don't beat them, the police will. If you don't beat them, the police will. You hear me? Keep on. Letting your children cuss you out. Call you a bitch. Call, slap you in the face, which I saw the other vi that video of a kid doing his mama like that. If a kid will disrespect his mama or his daddy, he'll disrespect anybody. Now, if your child yell at you, don't you run around here talking about them children ain't cussing them teachers out. Them children ain't talking to them teachers in any kind of way because they doing it. Say what you want. My child won't do this. Hmm. I told him, I told that the teacher, the other teacher, I said, I don't put nothing past him because I know my child, he probably did it. Whatever you say, he probably did it. And he did. Most of the stuff he did, he did. He was about that one time when he didn't do it. But most of the stuff they say he did, he did it. You, he, you can ask him today. He did every, all of it. But he didn't get serious until he got in. The 11th grade, when he saw Tanya graduate from school, and we went to Alabama State when Tanya had her graduation from high school, and Tanya walked across that stage and got her diploma, that was used to get F's and D's. They had to saw Tanya go across that stage. He said, Mama, I want to do that. Tanya was a good example for the rest of them. He said, Mama, I want to do that. And when, when we left that place, they had to start bringing home B's, then he started bringing home A's. I didn't even know he had it in him. He used to cut up so bad. He saw his sister walk past that stage at Lanier. He said, I want to do that. She went to Lanier, but they graduate. They had their graduation at Alabama State. I'm telling you now. And that boy is very successful now. Very successful. Sure is. I'm telling you now. And when and when when he started making A's and B's in high school, A's and B's in college, he succeeded in everything he wanted to do because he said, I want to do that. He walked across a, a stage in college. You hear me? My 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 D and F student. Because he saw an example of the child before him. I'm telling you. And then whoopings didn't kill him. All my whoopings probably wasn't fair. You may you may have made some mistakes. There's plenty of times I had to I had to whoop the children and I cried about it. Because I didn't want to hear them. I'm telling you. But I, I did it for their own good. You know I love my kids. But you got to discipline your kids. You can't love, just love them all the time and don't give them no discipline. Hug and kiss on them and don't, don't say, hey, don't do that. And then there's no consequences for your, hey, don't do that. That's a consequence. Keep it up, yeah. Keep it up. Just keep it up. 
I'm trying to let I'm trying to let you slide, but you you keep on doing what you're doing. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. You get me? And then they cut that mess out. My children they never act up on me in the store. Never. Not even when they was in the buggy. They ain't never act up on me on the store. Not even when I was walking in the line getting ready to cash out. They didn't put their hands on their can and going up going through that line. They knew better. They knew better. They knew better when they was walking around in the diaper trying to use the potty and touching stuff in my house. I didn't move nothing. When when my children, when I had my kids, it wasn't no child proof in house. Know what I did? When they got on the floor, uh-uh. Don't put your hands on that. Then they look at it. I, you touch it, here, And then they put their hands on it. What I say, don't do that. But it, it was like that. You trained them. Like the Bible say, train a child the way they should go. When they're older, they will not depart from it. Yeah. It starts when they come out the womb. And the first time I breastfed, the first time Vincent bit me while I was breastfeeding, no more milk. When he bit me and I had to pat his mouth for him to turn me loose. He was a little baby. I was breastfeeding. He clicked, touched on, and one turn loose. It hurt it. It like he was going to pull the nip off. I patted him on his jaw. And I was through breastfeeding never behind that. Just that easy. Just that easy. You hear me? Your children uh, snap back at you just like a man snap back at you. Just that easy. You through. No more. You, better, you, you either drink out that cup or don't drink nothing. And be serious. You to eat with that spoon. What? You open your mouth? You get hungry enough. I ain't playing all that. I ain't going to eat that because I don't like this. You're going to eat that because this is what we eating today. This is what we eating today. And we mean you. <laughs> oh, girl. What is going on with your girl? She knows she can't wear no bangs no more. Mm-mm. <laughs> Y'all see what that Hawaiian sicker did to my hair? I got kind of serious back. I'm chilling in the. Mm. Say, girl, I thought you was a, a nice, loving, kind mom. I was. Go in there and clean your room. Pick up all them toys, put them in the box. Make up that bed. Get your clothes. It's time for school. Iron your clothes for the week for school. Uh uh. No, ma'am. Get your clothes. Put them in the washing machine, wash them, take them in there and iron them, hang them up, put them in a the closet. This for the this for Monday, this for Tuesday, this for Wednesday, this for Thursday, this for Friday. They clothes are already lined up for the week. When you get up, put them on one at a time. And once you take off, put them in this thing so at the end of the week they can be washed. I'm telling you now. Stop doing everything for them. Train them how to do something. When Tanya was little, she couldn't reach the sink. I put a stool at the sink, and, and, and she stood on the stool and was playing in the water trying to help me wash dishes. She didn't do a good job, but, you know, because she was little. But she, she tried, and when she got through, I, went, I washed them behind her. She never knew that I cleaned the dishes behind her. She thought in her head that she washed dishes, and she went on about her business. And then the same thing with making the beds and cleaning the rooms. They did it. I made I did it I did it much neater when they left and made sure everything was the house was straight when they went to school. Made sure their clothes look good when they went to school. You know, make sure everything was okay. But they had a responsibility. And when they got out of school, homework. They got a snack when they got out of school. And then sit down and do your homework. My children did their homework for the week. I didn't have no, what's your homework for the day? No. When they brought their books in, I looked at their books and they said they was working on this. I said, okay, the, the teacher told me to read this page. I said, read the whole chapter. My children started school reading the whole chapter. And then they did their homework on each chapter, each page that had some questions and stuff on it. They had a, a binder and at home on the weekends, I had them to do that whole chapter. 
and that and, and every thing that looked like they had questions and, and math and all that kind of stuff they had it in the folder their homework was already done that's why Val just got in so much trouble he had his he had all his homework already done and but he was passing the class but he was being bad in school and always sit in the hallway his homework was done for the week Tiny homework was done for the week this homework was done for the week cuz I had them reading chapters instead of pages starting school you say, they who you so, mm -mm. I wouldn't. They mind was like a sponge. They can absorb more than what was asked of them. Because they was doing their ABCs when they was little kids, toddlers on the floor. I had them doing that when they was crawling. Vincent and Valdis learned how to play piano by ear because I went and bought an organ and just gave it to them. No lessons, no nothing. I bought it. I wanted them to play it. I gave it to them and walked away. And they learned to play. And then they were not forced. And with that, this is valid. This is how you do it. Mm. Just a little conversation. I don't know why, how I got on that. It just popped up. And I'm going to do some more with this hair. I don't know what I'm going to do with this hair. I'm about to, y'all, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.